called Alice's Restaurant. It's about Alice in the restaurant. But Alice's Restaurant is not the name of the restaurant. That's just the name of the song. And that's why I call it the song Alice's Restaurant. You can get everything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back. Just a half a mile from the railroad track. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Now, it all started two weeks Thanksgiving ago when it was on two years ago on Thanksgiving when my friend and I went up to visit Alice's at the restaurant. But Alice doesn't live in the restaurant. She lives in the church nearby the restaurant in Bell Tower with her husband Ray and the fish and the dog. And living in the Bell Tower like that, they got a lot of room downstairs where the pews used to live in to be in. Having all the room seen and has how they look took out all the pews. They decided that they didn't have to take out their garbage for a long time. We got up there, we found all the garbage in there, and we decided to be a friendly gesture for us to take the garbage down to the city dump. So we took the half of a ton of garbage, put it in the back of the red VW microbus, took shovels and raking implants off destruction and headed on towards the city dump. Well, we got there, and the and there was a big sign and it came across, across the jump saying, close on Thanksgiving. And we had never heard of a dump close on Thanksgiving before. And with tears in our eyes, we drove on to the sunset, looking for a nice place to put the garbage. We didn't find one until the, we came to the side road. And off of the side road, there was another 50, Foot cliff and above the bottom of this cliff, there was another pile of junk, and we decided that one big pile is better than two pile, little piles, and rather than bring that one up, we decided to throw our way. That was that's what we did, and drove back to church at a Thanksgiving dinner that could not be heat, couldn't be beat. Went to sleep and didn't get up until the next morning when we got a phone call from the officer Hobie. He said, Kid, we found her name on the hill at the bottom of half ton garbage. And just wanted to know if you had any information about it. And I said, Yes, sir. Officer Hobie, I can't tell that. I put that in the foot under that garbage. After all, speaking to Hobie for about 50. 45 minutes on the telephone, we finally arrived at the truth of the matter and said that we had to go down and pick up the garbage and also had to go down and speak to him at the police officer station. So we got in the red WV Walker's bus with the shovels in the rack and implements of destruction and headed on towards the police officer station. Now friends, there was only one or two things that Obi could have done at the police station. And the first one, he could have given us a medal for being so brave and honest on the telephone, which wasn't very likely, and we didn't expect it. And the other thing, we could have bawled us out and told us never to be seen driving while was running fancy city again. Which is what we expected, but when we got to the police, o police officer station, there was a third possibility that we haven't even called upon. And we went, and we was supposed to immediately arrested. Handcuffed, and I said, Obi, I don't think I can pick up the gra garbage with these handcuffs on. He said, shut up, kid. Get up in the back of the car. Pull up the patrol car. And that was that what we did, and sat in the back of the patrol car and drove to the quote scene of the crime. I'm quoted. I went, I want to tell you about the town of Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where this happened here. They got three stop signs, two police officers, and one police car. But when we got to the scene of the crime, there were the five police officers and three police cars. 
being the biggest crime in the last 50 years, and everybody wanted to get the news and the newspaper story about it. And they was using all, all kinds of cop equipment that they just handed around the police officer station. They were taking plaster tire tracks, footprints, dog smelling prints, and they took 27 8 by 10 color glass and photographs with circle and arrows about a paragraph on the back of the, each one, explaining what each one was to be used as an evidence against this. Took pictures of approach, the gateway, the north corner, the south, east, what, southwest corner, and that's not the mention it. The hero photographer, after order, he went back to jail. Obi said he was going to put us in a cell. So said, kid, I'm going to put you in a cell. I want your wallet and your bill. And I said, Obi, I can understand you want my wallet, so I don't have any money to spend on in the cell. But what do you want my bill for? He said, kid, we don't want any hangings. I, I said, Obi. Do you think I was going to hang myself for literally? Obi said, he was making sure in the fence. Obi was causing. He took out to the toilet seat so I couldn't see myself over the head and drown and took out the toilet paper so I couldn't bend the bars right over the, right over the, right over the toilet paper out of the window. Find out and roll and have escaped. Hobie was making sure, and it was about four or five hours after Alice remembered Alice. It was a song about Alice. Alice came out with a few nasty words to Hobie on the side of Bill is out of jail. We went back to the church and had another, another Thanksgiving dinner that could not be beat. And didn't get up until the next morning when we all had to go to court. We walked in, sat down. Hobie came in a 27th 8x10 color glossy picture. A circle and an arrow and a paragraph on the back of each one sat down. Man, I said, all rise. We all stood up and all we stood up with a 28, 78 by 10 cloud of glass of a photo picture. And the judge walked and sat down with the scene I dog and he sat down, we sat down. Oh, we looked at the scene I dog and then they then at the 28, 7 by 10 color glossy photo picture and circled in arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one and just looked at the seeing eye dog. And that was 27, 8 by 10 color glossy photos and circled in an arrow and a paragraph on the back of each one and began to cry. Because Obi came to realize that it was a typical case of American blind justice, and there was nothing he could do about it. And the judge wasn't going to look at the 27 8 by 10 color glossy picture with the circles and an arrow and a paragraph on the back of each one explaining what it what, what each one was of be used for, used be used as evidence against us. And we were fined fifty dollars and had to pick up the garbage in the snow. But that wasn't what I came to tell you about. Came to tell you about it, talk about the trap. They building down New York City, it was called Winnie Hill Street, where you're walking, you're injected, inspected, detected, infected, neglected, and selected. I went down to the physical exam one day, and I walked in. I sat down, good, got good and drunk that night, so I looked and fell out. My best friend, I went in the morning because I wanted to look. Like an all-American kid from New York City. Man, I wanted, I wanted to feel like, though, I wanted to be all-American kids from New York City. And I walked in, sat there, and I hung down, broke down, hung and all kids, all mean, nasty, ugly things. And I walked in and sat down, and they gave me a piece of paper said, Kid, see the petition. Room 604. I said, string, I want to kill. I mean, I want to, I want to kill, kill, I want to see. I want to see blood, dust, and gold, and me in my teeth. He did burn bodies. I mean, kill, 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 kill. And I started jumping down and down, kill, kill. And he started jumping up and down with me on the both of jumping up and down, yelling, kill, kill. And they saw the surgery, came over, surgeon came over, pinned him in the middle on me, sent me down the hall, said, you're, you're 
kind of stuff that was done to me. All the living, all the thing there. And I was there for two hours, three hours, four hours. And I was there for a long time going through all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly things. And I was just having a tough time there. And they were inspecting, injecting every single part of me. And they was leaving no part untouched. Proceeded through. And I went finally down. I finally, finally came down to see the last man. I walked in. Walked in and sat down after the whole big thing. There was, there, and I walked up and said, What do you want? He said, Kid, you only got one question. Have you ever been arrested? And I proceeded to tell him the story about the house in Mansour. With the four orchestration and five harmonies and stuff like that. And all the, you know, and he stopped me right there and said, Kid, did you ever go to court? And I, and I proceeded to tell him the story of 27, 8, my 10, with a color glossy photo with a circle on my arrows, and a paragraph on the back of each one. And he stopped me right there and said, Kid, I want, I want you to go sit down on the bench that says, Fuck W, now, kid! And I walked oh, over to the, to the bench there, and I was, Quark! Who's... Where they put at you? If you not be moral enough to join the army. After committing a special crime, and there was all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly looking people on that bench there. Roll rapers, more stabbers, father stabbers, father rapers, father rapers sitting right down there on the bench next to me. And there was mean, nasty, ugly, horrifying type of guy sitting on the bench next to me. And the mean, nasty, ugly, nasty one that. The man is for French father of Ray Burton of them all was coming over there to me and he was mean and ugly and nasty and horrible and all kinds of things and he sat down next to me and he said, Kid, what you got? What you get? I said, I didn't get nothing. I had to pay $50 to pick up the garbage. He said, Where, what were you arrested for, kid? And I said, Littering. And they moved, and they all moved away from the bench. There. <coughs> and the heavy eyeball, and all the kinds of nasty things, until I said, and credit the nasty. And they all came back, shook my hand, and we have a great time on the bench, talking about crimes, mother stabbing, father raping, all kinds of great things about we talking about on the bench. And everything was fine, and we smoking cigarettes, all kinds of things. Until the Georgian came over and had some papers in his hand, held it up and said, Kid, the piece of paper got 47 words, and 37 sentences, 48, 58 words. We want to know these all of the crime, time of the crime, and any other thing. You got to say, Pertin, to the end about the crime. I want to know arresting officer name and... Any more kind of the, yeah, you got to say. And he talked for 45 minutes. Not nobody understood a word that he said. But we are fun feeling on the forums and playing in the pencil on the bench there. And I filled out the mass arrow. And with a four parts harmony. harmony and wrote it down there. Just like it was. And everything was fine. I put the pencil. And I turned over the piece of paper. And there, there was on the si other side. In the middle of the other side. And away from everything else on the... On the side of the parentheses, capital letter, quote of the brief, follow words. Give. You have a rehabilitated yourself. I went over there, Sergeant. He said, Sergeant, you made a lot of a damn fool to ask me if I rehabilitated myself. I mean, I mean, I mean, was just I was sitting on the bench. I mean, I was sitting there on the group bench, W bench, because you wanted to know if I'm immoral. And now, hmm. To join the army, find the woman, kids' houses in the village of the Witterbug. He took at me and said, Kid, we don't like your kind, and we're going to send you the finger us off, off to, to, to Washington, and friends somewhere in the Washington eh, insurance. Some little photos. It was a study on, in black off and white of my fingertips. And the uh, only reason I was singing you the song now is because you may know somebody in a similar situation or 
Suppose a situation, uh, uh, and if you're in a situation like this, the only one thing you can do is walk into the, the street, whatever you do, just walk in the street. You got anything you want at Alice's restaurant, and walk out, you know, if one person just walk, person just, he may think he really sick, and they will take him. And if two people, two people in harmony, they may think they're both faggots, and they won't take it either of them. And three, and three people, three, you can, can you imagine three people walking in, walking in, singing a bar of Alice's restaurant, I'm walking out. They may think it is an organization, and you can, can you imagine 50 people in a day? I said, 50 people, they walking and singing a bar of Alice's restaurant, I'm walking out. And friends, they may think it's a moment, moment. And this is what I say, Al the Alice is a mature, mature moment. And all you got to do is join it, join and sing the next time it comes around on the record guitar. With feelings to wait for it to come around the garbage guitar. Here I sing you what it does. Here it comes. You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. You can get anything you want. At Alice's restaurant, walk right in, it's around the back, just a half a mile from the railroad track. You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. That was horrible. If you want to end up worrying stuff, you gotta go sing loud. I've been singing this song for now 25 minutes now, and I could sing it for another 25 minutes. I'm not proud or tired. So we just wait until it comes around again. And this time, four parts, harmony is feeling. We were just waiting for it to come around and what we're doing. All right, you can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant, except in Alice. You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. Walk right in, it's around the back. Just a half a mile from the railroad track. You can get anything you want. At Alice's restaurant, da 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 dum. At Alice's restaurant, thank you. This is a dog speaking.